Wheat, eggs, milk. Checking the ingredients on a family shopping trip, Billy is one of the one in 50 children who suffer from a peanut allergy. Something you can't eat, Billy, I'm guessing is that? Yeah. Because why? Almonds are in it. And you can't have almonds? No. Billy's nut allergy is so severe, just touching one can send him to hospital. My eyes swell up, I can't breathe properly, my throat starts to lock up. Peanuts are said to cause more deaths than any other food allergy, and the number of people affected has doubled in the past 10 years. Now researchers in London have found that feeding peanuts to high-risk babies can protect them. The study involved 640 babies under the age of one who already had other allergies. Half ate peanut-containing foods at least three times a week until they were five. At the end of the study, 3.2% of them had some form of peanut allergy, compared with 17.2% of the babies who'd avoided peanuts. For many years, in fact decades, we have been trying to prevent allergy through allergen avoidance. This clearly has not been work, has not worked, it has not been successful, may in some ways have contributed to the problem. The researchers warn parents not to give peanuts to young children with eczema or egg allergy without getting medical advice. I would always suggest as a, uh, as a dietitian working in the area to get advice from uh, allergist specialists in this, in this regard uh, rather than ch you know, children being exposed to peanut without this uh, cautionary um, aspect because of course we want to avoid the situation of a, of a, a more severe allergic reaction at home. What about some grapes? This research is too late to help Billy, but it still comforts his mother. It does, because if it can stop another, another child developing such an allergy like this, I think anything's worth a shot. There you go, Billy. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, Leeds.